so ladies and gentlemen welcome once more to my uh, youtube channel of course if you're new uh, don't forget of course to subscribe and uh, of course you will be enjoying good content that i will be uh, posting for you so today we are gonna uh, discuss about some of the things that you need to know before uh, coming to uh, Qatar or in the Gulf countries. Of course, uh, before you come, uh, of course, it is very essential that one, you you be specific on the job that you are coming to do. Be specific on the job that you are coming to do, because some people just when they arrive in the Gulf countries. Of course, they start regretting, they start uh, hating the job that they do, and that is wrong because, excuse me, because it's you who chose that job. Nobody else chose it for you. So, always be happy with the job that you are doing. So, that is it. Point number two when you are packing your luggages, pack them by yourself don't get assistance from anyone of course don't trust anyone when you are packing your luggages maybe that somebody who is packing for you uh, might put uh, something like drugs or something illegal which is not allowed here in the Gulf and of course when you reach uh, to the airport you will find yourself in trouble so always pack your luggages by yourself. Number three, always have a checklist, a checklist whereby you will be confirming the items that you are supposed to have, items that are required, you know, like, like the luggages, it is not supposed to exceed, to exceed, uh, 30 kgs if it is Qatar Airways don't exceed 30 kilograms that is it when you abide by um, that rule of course you will find yourself uh, in a good track of course another point of course when you are coming to the uh, to the Gulf and also uh, to Qatar Bear in mind that Qatar, it is, uh, uh, they are conservative. This is a Muslim uh, country, Islamic country. So if uh, you are a Muslim or, or, or rather you, if you are a Christian, there are those places that are set aside by, by the government for purposely for worship. Like we have one which is known uh, it is known as religious complex. If you go there, you will find different churches. Of course, you choose the one that you like, and of course, you will be fellowshipping uh, there. But uh, uh, right now, the, the procedures are different. If you go there, you must uh, know uh, the pastor, the pastor who is pastoring in that church that you want to go, so that you contact him. Uh, so that you can register you there is a register if you go there and you're not in, in the register there is no uh, anything that they can of course any help that they can uh, give you it is just you uh, you go back to your accommodation and of course you will uh, have missed the service of that day so that is all about the religion so they practice islamic and for the christianity there is a particular specified place whereby christians go and worship if you are an investor of course on the same uh, point don't import uh, religious books for example don't import bibles it is not acceptable you see don't import bibles here in Qatar it is 
contrary to their rules and regulation and lastly on the issue of religion don't move from one street to another preaching you see preaching the gospel you know it is not allowed so just follow those uh, guidelines and you will be in a safer uh, place another thing that you should know uh, Qatar it is the safest country of course according to me in the world of course one day uh, of course I stay in Doha and one day I went to uh, just a cafeteria and uh, of course I was taking I was taking my drink and of course uh, going back to my accommodation stepping out of that cafeteria I had uh, uh, forgotten my item to be specific my wallet and uh, going uh, at about uh, Mm, ten steps, ten steps from that cafeteria, I heard, hey, excuse me, uh, is this wallet, does this wallet belong to you? So I was like, oh my god, there is somebody who can remind you about your, about your property, you know? They're considering in mind that where I come from or most of the places, in, in the world or if you forget your property then forget them completely if you make two steps or three of course it will be uh, gone and gone forever so in Qatar it's uh, issues pertaining your luggages it is safe it is safe walking daytime walking at night you see, a lady can can be walking at uh, uh, even even 12, 12 midnight, and nobody uh, can disturb her. So that shows how uh, safe it is to stay in Qatar. Another thing that you should know is the 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 locals. Of the citizens, of course, uh, they are less than the experts, you know. And of course, because of their population, the small population, that is the reason as to why you see most experts living, uh, living in Qatar, doing, of course, or rather working in Qatar. And uh, besides that, the locals are very generous. Of course, you find most of the time, uh, because of the generosity, they they want to give you something. If, uh, by the way, if they give you something, don't refuse. Just take it. If maybe you don't want it, just uh, give it to your friend. Yeah, because if you refuse it, they will see that uh, maybe you have bad intentions something of the sort but that is it yeah so that is it um, so uh, another thing when you reach Hamad International Airport that is the uh, uh, Qatar's airport when you reach there of course going to your accommodation maybe you you are inside uh, a taxi don't ever throw something alongside the road or anywhere of course in Qatar because the fine it is very huge it is uh, uh, I saw I googled it is uh, 280,000 Qatari real uh, you will help me do that mathematics if it is uh, converting into uh, dollars you multiply by 3.45 yeah so one Qatari one dollar is equals to 3.45 Qatari real what about about 280,000 Qatari real then you will find the figures so that is the fine or the punishment or rather the 
uh, the step or uh, the judgment that they can give you so it is very strict uh, and that is the reason as to why when you walk around Qatar, uh, Qatar it is very clean very conducive the air is very conducive uh, and uh, of course we are proud uh, living here and of course when time reaches we shall go back to our countries of course i hope this video will help you of course to those who want to travel maybe it is a uh, uh, tourism purposes work purposes or they want to come and of course to reside uh, i hope the video will help you so, so much and of course if you are new of course subscribe and don't forget to of course to uh, press that notification channel i will be of course be posting good videos for you people and of course i hope they, uh, you will enjoy them goodbye